Hey everybody, welcome back to Waking Up With Wood. <clears throat> Today's project, I'm going to turn a platter slash bowl. I want it more like a platter, but because my blank is so thick and I didn't want to run it through the planer and all like that, this is really hard wood. I'm going to, like I say, it's going to be like a platter slash bowl with a wide rim on it. Uh, by the way, this is Jatoba wood, also known as Brazilian cherry. It's extremely dense. It's a very hard wood. It's pretty rough wood on your basic table saw blades and joiner blades and all, but it turns pretty well. Um, so we're going. Got it up on the lathe. I have it chucked up with a uh, worm screw or chuck screw, and uh, I'm, I've already took it over to the chop saw and I basically cut all the corners off of it, so I wouldn't have so much to have to turn off and possibly get chip out with my roughing gouge. So that's how we're going to start. We're going to true it up a little bit. I was playing with it and turned it on. I got a little bit of vibration so I'm going to have to start off uh, around 650s. It seems to run pretty decent until I get it trued up a little bit. Then uh, of course this will be the bottom of it. I'll true that up, turn my tenon and shape the bottom of it, turn the tenon, flip it around, rechuck it up on the chuck and then turn hollow the inside out. So uh, let's get started and make some sawdust. All right, I brought the tail stock up just to add a little extra support while I rough it out. Uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to start off with the three-quarter roughing gouge. Uh, I got my face shield on, uh, glasses, so let's get started.
All right, as you can tell, I'm having a little trouble at first. Uh, this wood, I'm telling you, this is like concrete. Uh, I've even sharpened the tools now a little bit, uh, but I know like the carb out here, that was brand new tit and it is sharp. So it's just real hard. Uh, I've never turned this wood. So bear with me, I, I promise we'll have a nice project.
This is some tough wood. We're gonna get through it. It's starting to shape up. It's starting to look pretty good. Go ahead and get us a tenon down here. Okay, as you can see, I already got it flipped around, chucked back up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll hollow it out. Uh, I put this pencil line, that's about the size of the rim. There's no certain measurement, I just eyeballed to what I I liked. And uh, so let's hollow it out and, and then uh, we'll sand it up, put a finish on it. And to finish, I just put this, this uh, butcher block conditioner on it. It's got uh, mineral oil in it, and uh, it's got some natural waxes, and it's food safe. So, 
that's what the finish is on the back. I'll show you the finish when we get the front part done. And then, of course, at the end, we'll take some pictures and get a better look at it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I think that's as far as I'm going to go with it. I'm going to start sanding it up.
right, we made it. I tell you, that was a hard fault turn there. Uh, that turned a lot harder than I thought uh, for a couple reasons. For one, I'm still a real uh, new wood turner, so I'm still learning how to use the tools effectively and even properly. Uh, and like I said in the beginning, that is some hard wood. And uh, I don't think so much the wood was the problem as, as much as it was just me being so inexperienced right now. But uh, the final product, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, for a hard fight like I had, it, it really come out nice. This is probably the best thing I've, I've turned. And uh, I am really, I'm really happy. I'm really pleased. Um, you know, I, I fought it, but I hung in there with it, and it paid off in the end. Um, this was a lot of fun, a big challenge, and a big learning experience. Uh, if you stayed all the way through the end and watched me fight this thing, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would like for you to subscribe and, and uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. Uh, I, I, I just can't say enough. I, I'm really pleased with how good it turned out considering how hard I fought it. Um, anyhow, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, get out in the shop and, and uh, turn something on your lathe and make some sawdust and send me some pictures. My email will be down at the bottom. Uh, my Facebook's down there. If you have any comments or even some suggestions on, on what I did wrong in that video, I'm more than willing to take some suggestions on what I should do to improve. I'm always open for criticism. So uh, anyhow, y'all have a good time, get out in the shop, and most of all, be safe, and see you next time.